Hey, John. Hey. Hey, quick question for you. I seen your ad on a Craigslist. Yeah. And I was wondering, John, are you guys interested in generating some concrete leads for your business? Well, I, I just seem to get enough work as it is. I, I don't actually look for anything other than what I have. Well, John, many people I speak with, they tell me the same thing you did before they found out what we do. Are you guys only using uh, Craigslist or do you do other stuff? Hey, Nestor. How you doing? I'm doing good. I, I um, found your ad on Craigslist. Sure. What is it that you have to get yeah, on? Yeah, and I wanted to ask you a quick question. Um, are you guys interested in generating some junk hauling leads for your business? Uh, no, nah, I'm not interested. Well, Nesta, many people I speak with, they tell me the same thing you did before they find out what we do. Now, are you guys only using Craigslist or do you do other stuff? Nope, uh, just Craigslist. Okay, well, I've been doing social media for about seven years and we are very good at what we do. And I work with a few other junk haulers and we probably get them about 10 to 15 jobs a week. And I just wanted to send you some information, Nestor. Um, I know it's not for everybody, but, you know, during the hard times, it's always good to keep your options open. So if you don't mind, I'll send you some information. If it makes sense, I'll get you two to three jobs a day. Okay? Uh, okay, text it to me. Okay, what is your uh, email address? Uh, uh, text it to me to uh, my cell phone. Okay, what's your cell phone? 619. Okay. And Nestor, how many jobs can you guys handle a day? I can handle as many as you have. <laughs> okay. And do you only do Craigslist or do you do any other type of marketing right now? Uh, I have a, a couple of things that I work with. Uh-huh. But you don't do any other other marketing but Craigslist? No, nope. That's it. Okay. Perfect. All right. So, Nesta, I'll send this over to you and then I'll follow up with you Monday morning around 9 and 10 and then we'll take it from there. How's that sound? Sounds good. Alrighty. Okay. Okay. Thanks, All Nesta. Right. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. really simple you just get on this phone <laughs> you pick it up and you make dials and you make money that's how you do it so here's the thing ladies and gentlemen I, I know a lot of you guys have been having problems when you're making your calls or whatnot and and that's and that's fine and the reason why is you got to qualify them um and I, I don't i don't know you know as far as what Nestor's situation is or what's this going to be but more than likely, if he's not spending money on marketing, he's probably not going to be a good fit for me. Um, and, and that's simply put, I don't really have a lot of time to kind of sell business owners on um, your know, marketing, pretty much. You know, I look for people that have already shown interest and or are spending, you know, anywhere from five to a thousand dollars a month in marketing. OK, so if you guys are having like problems with uh, setting appointments and people not showing up um, and you know when you follow up with them they're not there or when you finally get on the phone with them they're not interested and that's because ladies and gentlemen you got to qualify the prospect okay now if you guys want to know exactly what you need to ask you know simply put how long they've been in business um, um, how long they've been in business um, uh, how much are they spending on marketing? Things of that nature. You know, you got to ask questions. That's the key. You've got to ask questions. And a lot of you guys aren't asking enough questions. Um, and I can kind of tell that that gentleman was, uh, Nestor was kind of rushed. I wanted to ask him a couple more questions, but I kind of figured he was rushed. Um, I may text him over my presentation. Um, that way he can take a quick look at it. But more than likely, I know, you know, from my listening ear, you guys got to have a listening ear too, that, this is probably not going to be a qualified prospect that I want to partner with. Okay. Because he's not doing any marketing right now. So when I slap him, bow in the face, you know, with a two, three, four thousand dollar marketing offer, nine times out of 10, he's not going to go for it. Okay. Now that's not to say, ladies and gentlemen, that you're trying to sell them. Okay. My job is not to sell you on that first call. That's not what I'm trying to do. What I'm trying to do is qualify you and set a follow up appointment. OK, that's my goal is to set a follow up appointment so that, you know, I can see if you have a need. And if you have a need, 
then we can do business. OK, so keep that in mind. I know a lot of you guys are frustrated. You know, you're following up and business owners are busy, too. OK, keep that stuff in mind. Just because you set an appointment, you know, for Monday or Tuesday and you call that prospect back and they're not there doesn't mean that it's the end of the world, gang. OK, it's not. Business owners are busy. They get busy and you got to follow up multiple times. They say the average sales rep only follow up with the prospect a minimum of two to three times and they quit. OK, you follow up because I have people. How many times should you follow up? Follow up until they answer the phone and say yes or no. And if they say no, then say, hey, do you mind if I follow back up with you in three months and keep following up? Because situations change just like we didn't know the pandemic was going to hit and it was going to affect everybody's income. And it did. OK, so keep that stuff in mind, gang. And that's that things happen. All right. You got to follow up. There's fortune in the follow up. OK, there's fortune in the follow up. Don't give up. Don't quit. You have to set enough calls and you got to get good at this stuff. OK, just because you make a cold call today and you start blowing through the numbers and it's not working for you that day. Roll your sleeves up and go at it again tomorrow. Too many of you guys are quitting. Stop quitting and go for it, especially if you want to make five to ten thousand dollars a month. You got to sacrifice, man. You got to get good at this stuff. OK, so and it takes time. All right. And if you massage the numbers correctly, you're going to get clients. OK, let me say that again. If you make enough calls, you set enough appointments and you do enough follow ups, you're going to get clients. OK, you reap what you sow. OK, you guys are not sowing enough. And when you're sowing, it's not harvest time. Keep that in mind, too. When you're prospecting, you're making calls and you're not getting people to sign up right away. It's not the time yet. OK, you got it. You're in this. You're in the seed time. Harvest time will come. OK, when you continue to do enough follow ups, you'll get new clients, ladies and gentlemen. You just keep doing it. All right. Too many of you guys want to harvest on day one. When a farmer plants seeds, ladies and gentlemen, he doesn't get a crop as soon as he plants the seed. He has to wait. And that's what gets 98 percent of the people online. They're not willing to wait. In other words, they're not willing to give themselves enough time to grow and give themselves enough time to contact an open business minded person that wants what you got. OK, remember, we're looking for those that are looking for us. That's key stuff, because I don't want you guys to get frustrated. Cold calling works. OK, I picked up a couple new clients again last week from cold calling you know close to seven thousand dollar a month clients okay this is the power of cold calling and then i got another one that i know may be ten thousand dollars a month because they can handle an unlimited amount of prospects okay this is what happens when you pick up the phone okay if you don't pick up the phone ladies and gentlemen you're not getting clients let me say that again if you don't pick this phone up all right. The inevitable will happen. You won't get clients. So my point is, what do you have to lose? If you pick up the phone and you make calls and a lot of you guys need to grow, a lot of you guys just aren't good enough on the phone. How do you get good on the phone? Click that link in the description. Grab the ICP course so you can get all the scripts. Let me pull my script down so you guys can get the scripts. I got the scripts in front of me. OK, so that when I know what to say and the rebuttal. So when the guy told me he wasn't interested, I hit him with a rebuttal. <laughs> you see how I popped him with that rebuttal when he said he wasn't. Most of you guys would have stopped. See, I'm equipped. I have tools. You guys have to have the tools. OK, if you want to do this, a construction worker has tools when he builds a house. I have tools when I make my calls. I have tools. You got to have tools. OK, so click the link in the description, get the ICP course so that you can get your cold calling game up. Just because you're down here doesn't mean you can go up. You can't go up here because it, it all has to do with your skill set. Got to increase your skill set. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys got immense value from this. If you did comment below, uh, let me know what you thought. Hit the thumbs up. Helps with the algorithm. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you guys subscribe. I not only tell you what to do, but I show you what to do. I put out fire like this on a regular. OK, if you guys want that fire, that motivation to get to ten thousand dollars a month, that's my goal is to help one hundred thousand people get to ten thousand dollars a month in social media marketing. And we can do it 
if we allow if we stop allowing our fears and phobias and anxieties to stop us. This thing is not a black state, ladies and gentlemen. It is a ATM machine. I can make as much or as little as I want with this phone, and you can too. So click the link in the description, grab the ICP, stop making excuses. You gotta make sacrifices. You gotta invest money in yourself. So you may as well go ahead and do it now before the price of that course goes up because so many people, lives have been changed through this, this ICP course that's really priced so low compared to all the other courses that are out there. And I just do that right now just to bless as many people as I can because I know a lot of people are on hard times, okay? So grab the course while it's affordable and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.